Well, steam engines were invented in the early 1700s and were probably the main cause behind the Industrial Revolution. Now, when you think of a steam engine, what probably comes to mind is one of those big old trains. And, well, obviously that's probably the most iconic of their uses, but they were in all sorts of things. In any case, I made a model and sketch pad here of a steam engine, and this is the type that would have been in the many steam locomotives. So, I don't know, enjoy yourself and hopefully you learn something. Okay, so here's our steam engine model. This is referred to as a double acting piston steam engine, as steam is allowed to act on both sides of the piston, as you'll see in a minute. Here, start the thing going, and as you can see, the linear motion of the piston is transferred into rotational motion of the wheel. Also, the darker um, lever there is operating the valve on top, which operates the steam. Now, if I go to this little mode here, Prepared a picture to help you understand a little better. This diagram, the red area represents high pressure steam coming in from the boiler, while the blue represents exhaust steam being pushed out. See, as high pressure steam is pushed in past the valve, it pushes the steam on the other side of the piston out. And of course, then the cycle turns over, and the other side is pushed in, and the other side is pushed out. And steam engine, this would occur over and over and over again, and allow it to go very fast and be very powerful, provide enough steam. All right, then once again, there you go, high pressure steam in, exhaust steam out. In a steam engine, the exhaust steam coming out accounts for the noise that is indicative of a steam train. So there are many advantages and disadvantages to this type of setup. Of course, uh, the main advantage is, I mean, well, in its time it was huge, as you could do something without the aid of animals or humans or whatever, provided you had enough steam. And that, of course, is its downfall. You can make these things as big and as strong as you want, but they need a steady supply of high-pressure steam, which, of course, isn't very convenient in automobiles or whatever, which is why we don't have them in automobiles and whatever. In any case, hope that was informative, and have a great day.